Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 38 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about create or replace tempu function in PySpark. So basically, this function will help you to create a table or a, to create a temporary view within the Spark session so that you can use SQL queries as it is to perform your data manipulations. So that means if you have seen all my previous videos what we did we try to use create a data frame first okay and then on top of the data frame to perform any manipulations we try to use the functions for example select function we used to select the columns from a table or we use upper function so all are like a python functions or python functions uh, pyspark functions what we used to do all our manipulations right but some people will be very much familiar with the SQL. So they want to uh, query the data or they want to perform the transformations in SQL only. So for such people, this particular function is very useful. Why? Because once the data frame created, on top of the data frame, it will create like a table. So but it is not a physical table. It will be within the memory, within the same session only. Once the session ends, then other session people cannot access that particular view okay you can think like a dummy table on the fly within the session it is available for you now since it's like a sql table you can use a sql queries directly on top of it when i practically show you this you will make more sense of it let's go to browser so here i have already opened my databricks workspace and here let's try to create a new notebook let me name this create or replace temp view notebook python is a default language this is my cluster so once i hit the create button it will create a notebook for me let me close this uh, pop up here and here let's try to create one data frame first how to create a data frame and everything i have discussed in my previous videos and all the videos in the playlist are in sequence order so watch them in the same order to get more idea so in the list first item is a tuple in which i am adding three items like id name and salary so this represents one row in data frame let's try to add another row also like id to name of a salary maybe 3000 okay so now let's try to create a schema variable which holds the column names for my data frame so id column name column then salary column and spark keyword which nothing but like a spark session object we know this from our previous videos so here let's try to use this create data frame function to create a data frame and pass our data variable and schema variable to it and the created data frame i am storing in a variable called df here so let me try to use a show function to see the data frame in a tabular format in the output so once the command executes successfully i should be able to seeing my data frame here so let's wait for the command to run here command executed successful and i can see my data frame so now maybe i want to uh, select id and name columns or maybe i want to convert this name column to upper so whatever the transformations i have to do usually i have to do like this right so what i can do i can do like a select id column then maybe name column so then finally show this data frame so when i hit shift enter it will show that see here only id column and name column came or all these functions will generate a new data frame so i can save that in another data frame and then finally show that new data frame so this is how we can apply the transformations or data manipulations previously right see i got id and name columns only so but what if if i want to do the same thing using sql i don't want to use the pyspark code i want to use a sql will that possible yes it is possible for that what you do take your data frame and create a temporary view on top of it which will be available within that session and then per write your sql queries to manipulate the data let me practically show you this so here my data frame created right and once the data frame created there is something called create or replace temp view function that creates a table or a temporary view within the session so let's see the documentation of this create or replace temp view function let me hit shift enter to execute this code it, it says that it creates a temporary table which is available within the spark session 
outside the session it will be not be available okay and it will create the temporary table if it is not there in the session if it is already there it will replace the temporary table with a new one so now this data frame whatever i have i want to create a temporary table from it and i want to name it maybe like employees okay so once you do that temporary table will be created so after that what i can do spark dot there is something called sql function in which i can write my sql query so what i will be writing here is so maybe select star from employees table okay so or maybe select only id comma name column from my employees table so this entire query whatever it executes the output will be created as a data frame so let's store it as a new data frame and then finally let me execute show function on the new data frame so i hit control and uh, I, I i executed this command and now if you see i got only id and name column so how that happened i used a sql query still i was able to manipulate the data so that happened because of this function which creates a table with this name employees which will be available only within the session not only that so let me remove this let me execute this code by hitting shift enter so now the temporary table is already created so what i can do i can use a magic command sql and then here i can start writing my sql code directly maybe select id comma maybe i can use the functions also sql functions so upper function will be uh, applied on a column and the data in the column will be converted to upper case so that's what it will do and then finally from which table employees table so let me hit shift enter and see what will happen it will give me the result back id and name columns and this column values became uppercase i can give alias name also maybe up as name okay so let me hit shift enter again to execute this code see i was able to run this code so this is how this create or replace temp view function is very helpful to create a tables which will be available within the sessions so that you can comfortably use your sql skill to query or manipulate the data so i hope you got an idea so and you got one more doubt like if the temporary table is created within the session uh, what if the another session also want to access the same table will that possible yes that is possible in our next video we will see how to create the temporary tables which can be accessed across the sessions thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much